A handshake between Orange Democratic Movement leader Ayla Odinga and President William Ruto could be in the offing, leaders close to the former Prime Minister have intimated. According to Jubilee Secretary General Jeremiah Kearney, some Western nations had initiated talks seeking to convince opposition parties, under the banner of the Azimio coalition, to ease pressure and slow down on politics through their respective embassies in the country. Revisiting 2013 when he was the running mate of the then presidential candidate of Musalia Mudavadi, Kearney revealed that foreign powers in the country have always worked to reconcile political parties after every election cycle. He stated that he was privy to attempts of reconciling Azimio and the ruling party albeit without disclosing the stages and the intrigues. Kearney's revelations came days after opposition chief Ray Loading led a delegation of leaders from the Azimio faction in a meeting with United Kingdom Ambassador to Kenya Jane Marriott. In a statement shared after the meeting, Marriott noted that the discussion centered around the importance of ineffective opposition and development programs in the country. On his part, Odinger revealed that the meeting bordered on potential areas of collaboration between his side and the UK government. Speaking during a media roundtable with local media stations, President William Ruto reiterated that he was not intending to have a handshake with the opposing as a way of ensuring that the ability to promote democracy is bolstered. This was despite earlier speculations that the government was planning to establish a cordial relationship with the opposition through the proposed creation of an office of the official leader of opposition. While clarifying his advocacy for the return of the office of the official opposition, Ruto noted that the office was not meant for an individual as earlier interpreted by a section of Kenyans. He stated that the office was long time coming and was in his plans even before ascending to the presidency.